Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Uh, I was asked by Banjo Sick to take a closer look at War Law. And uh, so yeah, sure, why not? Uh, this isn't actually a review because I've never actually played the game. And I'll explain why in a bit. But War Law itself is a uh, war game. There's there's a simple version, there's a more complex version, and the simple version doesn't require a GM, but the more complex version sort of does. And uh, it's for expanding, it's for, it's for large-scale warfare in the Rollmaster game system. And I certainly had large uh, combats in my Rollmaster game, but I never actually used these rules. And I'll exp like I say, I'll explain why in a bit. So the box itself comes with the main rules, which are pretty hefty. Which, you <laughs> if you watch my videos, you probably know already why I never really got totally into this. It's pretty complicated, but I'll look at that pretty closer. This is uh, summary sheets. These are the sheets, sort of reference sheets that you're going to need throughout the battles that you have, your gameplay. This is for keeping track of your units and your casualties. Uh, reference game units. Unit record sheet. Now, something interesting is that it sort of treats units as characters. So instead of having a character in this game, you sort of have units. And keep track of them and they level and everything as you'd expect. So just lots of lots of tables and stuff. As you can see it's definitely in the OSR vein of things. It's a little quite complicated, quite detailed. It's not intended to be simple. It came with some maps. Pretty standard. They kind of they're pretty basic. That's something Rollmaster's never really been good at is maps. Their dungeon maps, their world maps and stuff, they've always, in my opinion, sort of fallen short there. These are the tokens. Got two uh, things of these. I never played it, like I say, so they're unpunched. And I never used minis with this game or anything. And then it's got overlays so that you can use your own maps, which I think is better. I don't think I would really want to use these maps. They're pretty basic. But uh, they, re they remind me of... Uh, of, uh, ah, can't remember the name of it. It'll come to me. So anyway, the, uh, the rules themselves, basically it's role master only the characters are units. The idea being is that you can have large scale fights and stuff. There's a standard game and there's the advanced game. The standard game is essentially a, uh, war game, sort of like squad leader, something like that. And then the more advanced game, you would actually have a GM. You've got more all checks. You've got everything that you would expect in a in a game like this. And I did make an effort to try and learn this game. But, you know, when a game gets started, when a, especially a combat game like this, I don't really want to DM this kind of a thing too too much or too too often it's not really my thing because it's too complicated and I tend to just sort of wing it when I don't remember rules and stuff and you can't really do that in a game like this I don't feel anyway so to, to actually game master it I think would have been unfair to players it's got really nice art very detailed so it uses as you'd expect, sort of the Rollmaster combat tables, right? So this is beak, pincer, attack. Here we've got a bite unit attack. So if you have different monsters, claw, talon, unit attacks. We've got here grapple, grasp attacks. And you've also oak trample, stomp, crush unit attacks. So we're, you know, martial arts strike, sweeps. Hand axe unit attack table. But again, this is for entire units, not for uh, individuals. So for individual combat, you'd go, of course, back to arms law. And then, 
critical tables. This is morale failure. Which is kind of funny. <laughs> Some of the results on here are kind of funny. Uh, ooh. Enemy soldier attacks leader at plus 50. That's not good. The one I liked was the leader finds himself on the other side of the line in enemy territory. <laughs> That's got to be a bad day. Uh, you know, just all different tables. Now, this is this is neat. This is how this is how the units themselves actually advance so you can they can increase their skills and abilities and things. It's very much like uh, character law. The way characters advance. Uh, this is for second edition, uh, second edition role master as well. This isn't a first edition one. So I've got so the the rules I show for for the first edition, and then in one of the companions, I think it's companion two had a big table like this in it. Now first edition did as the the character law did too, I believe, but there's a sort of an expanded one in. This, yeah, in the second edition companion. So, uh, yeah, so the reason I never used it is because I have was more familiar with war law out of the uh, companion edition for uh, Dungeons and Dragons. And what I found was that if I use War Machine right here, which is the mass combat system for uh, basic d and I, uh, I was able to adapt this very readily to Rollmaster. And so this is what I used. And this was because this is a lot easier. And because basically a d20 system and a 100-sided system, they're, they're essentially the same thing, except one's in increments of 5 and the other uses a percentile system. But I was able to pretty much just work it out and wing it and as long as it's as long as you use the same system for both sides to you know figure out the uh, the different uh, uh, factors for your combat then this one this one I found was just really good for uh, uh, resolving combat even in Rollmaster. Now it doesn't have all the fun of Rollmaster, nowhere near the detail but that was what I liked about it. So basically we're looking at uh, six, seven, eight pages eight pages as opposed to this which is uh 160 pages <laughs> there's the chart there's the index table of all the different rules so for me even my preference for simplicity i went with the companion rules and i didn't use the role master rules in my game uh also because i had a lot of players if I had tried to use this in my game, I think a lot of the players would have gotten bored with it. They're, they're, they weren't all into wargaming. So this is basically, you know, if you've got a wargaming itch, this would be just excellent. Or if you're into games like this, I think this would be just excellent. Uh, again, I've never played it, though, but that's my feeling on it anyway, is that it would be. And, uh, yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed uh, this look at... Uh, Warlaw. All right, that's it. Please leave a like and subscribe and leave a comment down below what you think of it. What you think of my uh, my solution <laughs> using using <laughs> using uh, the companion rules, the war machine instead of this. But this was just too much for me. But uh, yeah, all right. Thanks for listening and uh, talk to you later. Bye.